Hi everyone. Um, super quick. I want to do an unboxing real quick for my Smart Art box that came today for June. Um, it's actually been coming a little bit early, which is fantastic. I'm super super excited to work on this month's Smart Art, but um, I have to wait about a week because we are going on vacation. So bad timing, but I'm super happy to be able to do this before we go, just so I can see what's inside because this suspense would be killing me if I didn't. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Love Smart Art. It is a monthly subscription box um, of art supplies, but it's great. It's not like some of the other ones because it's usually intended for a project or it's always intended for a project. They give you project ideas and enough materials and stuff to actually create a project, so it's awesome. So here we go. So this is the pamphlet um, that explains a little bit of history, um, what's in the box. It's got all of the details on what's in the box here. Um, so you know what should be in here. And then here's a step-by-step -step, um, project suggestion. And they also do a monthly competition on their Facebook page that you get to post um, hashtag smart art box and post your creation and the most likes comments and shares wins a free box which is amazing so oh my goodness look at this so looks like a quick glance if I would have read it <laughs> it's all about mixed media this month and those of you that know me know that I love mixed media um, I actually found mixed media journaling art journaling a couple years ago when I got laid off from the job and it was such a stress relief for me um, that I continued it. And anything I get, uh, card kits, anything like that, they always end up being a mixed media project or an art journal page. So I love this. I'm very excited to do this. Now even more sad that I can't work on it. But let's do a quick unboxing for you so we see what's in here. Um, so this is a Marabou Art Spray. It is actually acrylic spray, but this one is super cool. It's like a gold... You see that color? Shake it up. Um, of course, now all we see is bubbles, but let's do it quick. Well, let's see here. It's quick, quick, quick gold spray for us. Oh, look at that. That is so shimmery and so pretty. I don't know if the camera even does that justice. Of course, seeing it wet doesn't help, so I'm going to put it aside so it'll dry it, and I'll show you again before we're done. So that's the Marabou Mixed Media Spray. Um, looks like we got some little artist tiles in black. Very nice. Last month we got some ATC cards, and I loved those. Um, this is little artist tiles in black. Looks like it's just a harder stock. Card stock, but harder um, just a series five, series 400. So that means anything to anybody. There you go. Um, but nice, and it's nice that it's black. This spray will look amazing on the black. So let's let that dry, and then I'll show it to you with the other one. Um, we got some, I think they are brush pens. Um, yeah, they're markers. But this one appears to be a blue metallic. Let's try that. Nice. Blue metallic looks amazing on the black. Another gold for us. Let's go with our gold spray. It has a green tint on that black. And a purple metallic. I might add these to my travel art kit for tomorrow. Um, we also got a full set of art crayons by Marabou as well. So looks like this month is sponsored by Marabou. Um, let's get into these real quick. If you've never used art crayons, um, you're definitely missing out. I love art crayons because, yes, they're crayons. They can look just like crayons, but they're also watercolor. And they can like go on like crayons and then transition to watercolors with a wet paintbrush. Um, they also smear pretty well. They're kind of like a creamy texture. So there's the purple. 
That even looks pretty uh, metallic -y here. And then if you smear it a little bit, you can blend it. Really cool. Um, let's do that on here. So there's the purple. Definitely a creamy texture. So much plastic on these things. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties getting this plastic off. don't have enough room in my travel art kit for the crayons, um, but I do have a small set of Neo, Neo Color, I think it's called, um, twos in there, so that's very nice. This is the blue. Blue. And look, you can see that gold all dry, nice and shimmery. A lighter purple. Just get the knife right off. Lighter purple, oh, that shows up really well on the black, not so well on the white. And last, a lighter blue. These colors will look great with the metallics though. Here is the light blue. That'll look great on the black. There we go. And there is the blue. Okay. There's the black, now that it's dry. See how shimmery that is? Can't wait to use this spray. Oh, very nice. It also comes with a stencil, a marabou stencil. Hopefully the staples didn't go in to my stencil. Nope, looks like real good. So you just put this down and you spray, or you can even color on top of it um, so that it just comes through this, or you can use ink. Super cool. Love that marabou stencil. Um, and that's not all. We also have a art board. It's a cold press premium watercolor heavyweight art board. Love it. I'm very excited to get started with this month's or June's kit um, when I get back. But look at everything. We are definitely starting to include a lot of stuff in these kits. So I'm very excited to make my suggested art project just as a start. I will be working through the suggestion. Um, maybe not, I don't know if I can draw that owl, but the rest of it um, and incorporating this in my art journal. Thanks for joining me.